Hey guys, it's Angels. Welcome back to another killer video for today. And today, I'm actually going to be trying out the build we used on Legion a few days ago on Pig instead. Um, I'm actually really curious about this build. I think it definitely has potential. And Pig's a killer that I think he could work pretty well on, considering she does have the ability to keep people injured with her traps. And of course, the stealth lets her roam around the map and get potential easy hits on people. So... Like last time, we have Thanatophobia for the gen and totem slowdown. Throw the hunt for the totem slowdown, and so we can know whenever totems are being worked on. Ruin for the gen regression, undying to keep our totems up for a little bit longer. And, of course, for add-ons, we have Jigsaw's annotated plan, and the bag of gears to make our bear traps just a little bit stronger. Anyways, guys, that being said, let's get straight into the games. Alright. Lining up here under the Grim Pantry with Piggy. Always a good map for her, considering the Jigsaw boxes tend to be, you know, a little far from each other. Plus, on top of that, you can get some decent totems. That one's probably the best one we have. Hopefully, that one won't be our ruin. I triggered the crows here, so I know they're not over here. I think they're going to be spawning over by this generator back here. I mean, I'll crouch for as long as I can here. There really isn't too much of a point to crouch in this scenario, I think, because it's very easy to see me. Oh, or she's blind. No, grab there? What the fuck? I gained some distance there by swinging off that. Someone just started this. Dead hurt? Dead hurt? Jesus. She turned faster than I thought she would. We'll go ahead and put a trap on her, just in case her other two have been doing a generator in the background. Oh, she's a Twitch streamer. Where are you? I'm listening to me out for the breathing, and I don't hear it. Cool. Is there a pal here? Alright, I was really worried that there- What are you doing, Meg? Thank you, I guess. We'll go ahead and hook her over here. I think I should still have time, unless she had breakout. No. So there goes our undying. That was a totem that was really well hidden. Our other two totems are pretty exposed, but we've already gotten a decent amount of value out of rune. Plus, on top of that, we're wasting their time by them having to go for totems and shit, so... Even if we do lose all three of our totems right away, with this build, it, you do buy a lot of time with it. Thrill the Hunt makes it take exceedingly long to break uh, totems, especially once you get the Natphobia going. Let's see what direction they run. Ooh, this gen is on. I don't like that. Don't forget, uh, they just got off it. Cool. If I was the other two guys, I'd be healing before uh, doing anything. Oh, smart. Good. Really gonna hurt her to uh, just leave this. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it. I don't see anyone heading for the other unhook just yet. Mm, I'm gonna try and go for a bit of a weird rotation here and go all the way around back here. See if we can catch the mag off guard, or the kid off guard. Coming up here? No, she's still down there. Oh, you're injured. Hello. Guess where I'm coming. The Yui's off to the left. That's who we're going to be going for because she decided to stay injured. It means that she's going to be a much easier down, of course. There we go. No time to take a hit for the cape. We could hook Yui. No, I mean, there's no decisive strike to begin with, but we wouldn't have to worry about decisive strike since she was on the generator. Can't tell who that is. I think it's the Atom. He got on my totem. I'm gonna go ahead and crouch back over there. I don't want to lose the totem just yet. I should go over and hook that Yui. But, sorry, we have time. Yeah, and thanks to Thanatophobia and Thrill the Hunt, he doesn't finish this in time either. It's pretty obvious, uh... Fake there. Go ahead and break off and come back over to where we downed the Yui, see if we can find her. She went far, Jesus. There's someone. 
I hear her crying. I think it's a UE again. Running off to the left. Nice. Okay. This is a strong building. Now this item's not gonna open that totem. That was deception there on the UE's part. Oh, this door isn't open. Neither of these doors are open. Fuck my life. We're gonna end up losing uh, either Rune or Thrill of Hunt. Perfect, it was Thrill. Okay, so we still have Ruin up. Kate's behind us trying to run and take a hit for this UE, but she's not doing it very well. What the fuck? Oh, it was uh, quick and quiet. I saw the deception earlier, it threw me off. Really well, really, really, well, ah, really well done on her part. I was not expecting that at all. Wait, Kate was injured. Why didn't I just take get the hit on her? She has this pound to drop now. Yeah, she stunned me, I think. I've been chasing this, this Yui for a really long time, and they're not really punishing me for it, so I'm gonna continue to chase her down. We know her perk set now. She has deception, quick and quiet, head on. And she's gonna be trying to make use of those again. I hear her to my left. Or is she downstairs? I'm just gonna get the hit here. The Netophobia. Again, that should have stunned me. I think Yui's downstairs where they just came up from. No? That makes sense. I don't know where she is. It's kinda cute. <laughs> sprint burst, by the way. Oh, no sprint burst? Interesting. Yeah, so these guys have really been slacking on the gens, and I've kind of been taking advantage of it by just fucking around and going for them. <laughs> but yeah, by no means right now should I be at five generators. I'm struggling really hard to see where this girl's running. Maggie is another prime target for us to chase, however, considering we do have a hook set on her already. F what the fuck, game? I know I've gotten hits like that before. She loves camping pallets. Vaulted again. Alright. These guys are starting to reset a little bit. I genuinely have no idea why I'm still at 5 generators though. Do we have basement down here? No, it's in the killer shack. I think this is a healthy person. No idea where she ran off to, if I'm honest. Hmm. I can't tell if... I hear you, dude. I can hear your footsteps. You're loud as shit. What the fuck just... I hate the lag so much. You guys have no idea how much it fucking bugs me when I lag like that. You don't have a strong area to go to anymore because you just fucked up there. There goes my ruin. Oh, maybe now they'll actually start doing generators. I swung right there, by the way, because I thought I had... I thought there was a pallet there. What the fuck? She fell on this side and then vaulted it somehow. Weird. We'll go ahead and use our last trap. Granted, our traps aren't actually putting any pressure on... Or not any pressure, but they aren't actually getting them scared at all. Because no gens have been done, but it is causing... It is part of what's uh, making these gens go by so slowly. The fact that they're... Uh, Trying to get their traps off as well. I think Yui's gonna be on that back generator. It's just a feeling I have. No, not at all. Hey, seriously, someone? No, I heard the generator making noise. Hmm. I'm not even gonna bother crouching here because I, right now, I need the mobility of standing up more than I need the stealth. Where the fuck? Hm. I'm gonna kick this thing because I guess why the fuck not? I have no idea where this Yui is and I really do want to find her. She just got a trap off her head. What box do you think she went to? Is that her back there at the edge of the map? No, it's a little lantern. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna walk over back to this generator, I think. This person might have gotten back on it. They did. So we call a gamer moment, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> well. <laughs> uh, I guess she had given up. We'll go ahead and get her out of the game here. I need to put her on the bitch hook because she's done on hook anyway, so. And now, I mean, unless these guys split up and do three separate generators, and not even three, unless these guys are constantly spreading out and just rotating from gen to gen, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to, to have more than one person escape here. Granted, I could fuck up real bad, go on a really long chase, like we did with the Yui earlier, and that would be a death sentence to me. But... I have high hopes. Window. Oh, you should have gone for that window. She doesn't want to waste her quick and quiet because she really wants to head on me. If she had just gone for the window at first, she would have been fine right now. Uh, I can barely see her. Okay. She's going to go to the killer shack. She's going to deception one locker and quiet into the other one. Damn. I'm walk around this corner. Might catch her off guard. Did mm. she run away? Or, no, she's still here. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna follow her directly here. There's no reason not to. She'll have to vault it here. Yep. This person behind me did not actually make any real effort to take a hit, so we'll go ahead and hook her in the basement and put her on the bitch hook. Yeah, I had a feeling that's where the Kate was, where she's, uh, where she's been basically the entire game. She doesn't like leaving the pantry. She feels safe there, which, I mean, she should feel safe. It's a really strong structure. Really strong structure. Man, I couldn't really say that right. <laughs> I hear you, Adam. Did I not hear him? That wasn't my breathing. I, I could have sworn I heard a guy breathing. Am I crazy? Hmm, who knows? That girl had gone hook, unfortunately. Nothing much I can do about that. Yeah, and at this point, it's just... Which one am I going to find? Which one am I going to head down first? It seems like that might be the key. Unless she pulls off something sneaky. Oh, she went upstairs. I hear it on my left. I'm gonna rotate her on the right instead. Try and catch her off guard. I'm gonna walk here. Damn, no, she just kept running. That's something that this map definitely does offer to survivors. Is just the ability to keep running and running and running and running. I might have been able to hit her there. I'm not sure. She realizes that there's nothing else for her to do. I don't know where this Adam is. He's been hiding from me the entire game. I'm not even going to bother looking for him because that's just way more effort than it's worth. Do they bring an offering for the hatch? No. I think it's the same amount of progress that uh, Kate had on it. Adam on Hunter real quick, Jesus. I feel like it's Adam I had Deliverance based on how stealthy he's been playing. I don't see blood. I do see blood here. This is a gate we're following. That I lost track of immediately. Oh, I hear her. No, I don't hear her. They added more uh, just ambient noise to this map. What are you doing here, dude? Go do a- go fucking do something else. Where's the Adam? I feel bad. I feel like I've been tunneling shit out of her, but also at the same time- Oh. Front that window- or pallet was down, so I wouldn't have had to swing for it anyway. Um. I don't- like, I don't want to be chasing her, but at the same time, I don't know where the fuck this Adam is for the life of me, and I don't want to bother looking around. This map is way too big and way too easy to hide on for that bullshit. So near soak. It's convenient too because it's right next to the small pantry. The hatch does like spawning here a lot. So we'll go ahead and check. I'm gonna stand up here, try and get some high ground, see if I can spot Adam 
crouching somewhere. No? Hmm. We'll check to see if it's here. Yep. <laughs> and he has good doors, so he'll, he'll definitely get out. If he sticks that door right now, I don't think he makes it. We do have a decent path here that we can take to patrol the doors. It's not the greatest, but... We can see the lights from that, for that door from pretty far away. Hey, Adam. No, come here. <laughs> Where'd he go? Wait. <laughs> Damn, this guy really is committed to the whole stealth aspect of the game, huh? Vault it? Aw, that'd been cute. Alright, let's go ahead and kill him. He doesn't want to mess around. That's what we call a mind game, by the way, right there. He thought I was going to double back. Or, he thought I was going to go around the outside and I doubled back. Caught him off guard. He, uh, he was going to play it safe and go to the where the pallet was. This couldn't make it there, unfortunately, for him. There's one pallet left in the structure, and it's not really the greatest. He does have that window, though. Gain a little bit of distance by doing that. I don't think I got a single dash attack this game. <laughs> this guy, I will not let go for free, though. Because one, he didn't want to boop a snoot, and two, he kind of just hid the entire game and let his teammates die all around him for whatever reason. And I mean, most of you guys know I don't really like when people do that, so if I can't punish it, I will. It's just not very nice to your teammates leaving them for dead like that. Look at poor Kate. <laughs> he unhooked her and immediately hid. Like, granted, yeah, that's what he had to do to survive for himself. But at the same time, you know, be nice to your teammates. <laughs> so, I still... This build, man, I don't know if it's just that we're getting um, less focused survivors whenever we run this build or something. Or what it is, but, <laughs> I mean, it's worked out so far. Yeah, we, she had her whole jumping in locker build. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the next game, guys. Well, <clears throat> definitely a difficult map here on, Mar on uh, Mount Ormond. We could get lucky with totem spawns and uh, box spawns, but the totem spawn sucks. That one sucks. Where's our last one? That one's trash too. We literally got three dog shit totems. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> I think they're on this generator, if they're on the one behind me. Yeah, we literally got three absolute fucking garbage totems. Where the fuck are these guys? Oh, there's a person over there. That was three people, I'm pretty sure. I should have gone and checked that generator. Jesus. Is that object, or is that... <laughs> oh, that is object, isn't it? No, he was right next to... A to adult item, it might be undying. He messed up there. Pretty bad. This should not have been an easy hit for me. Saw so the generator wasn't sparking anymore thanks to Ruin, so I knew he'd be back there. I was fully expecting a dead heart to that, uh, to that pallet, that's why I swung the way I did. I'm gonna pretend we're chasing him, break off, and come over here and down this guy instead. You hear the totem, the gen in here being worked on? You don't make that. <laughs> That's a different totem that they just got on, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. not oh, what's this? Is that a vault? You see the atom right in front of us. I'm not gonna bother putting the trap on his head, because I'm not sure I'll be able to make it. This is not a very good pat him. Pat him? Pallet at him. 
We'll try and pull him out of the pallet as much as possible here, and then continue to walk forward to pick him up. That minimizes the risk of us, uh... That minimizes the risk of us having to... Get, or getting pallets on, rather, not having to, of course. Yep. This is not a very good pallet, like I said. I wonder where the Dwight went. He went straight back to this fucking totem, didn't you, asshole? I just want to force him off it so I can put the trap on her head. With three people injured, it's going to take a very long time for him to do the totem. I didn't even realize that the sun was happening right in front of me. I'm bad. <laughs> I like that, Adam. He's pretty cool. Yeah, no point in, ch in chasing over there. We're going to come back over here. Soul Guard probably, so I'm not going to bother hitting her. Dead hard? Dead hard? There it is. So we have a ton of pressure on them right now, so since this guy insists on coming over to this totem. And since we're staying in this general area, it's very easy to pressure him off of it. I don't think anyone's nearby enough to pallet save here. Oh, that's my other totem, isn't it? As well. Mm, no, I don't think it is. So we're gonna hook the Ruckley next to this totem. Now we can defend not only the totem, but the unhook as well, with everyone injured. Oh, I think they were on my totem. The far one. I hear him above me. Do you have this pallet? I'm gonna drop down over here. Yeah. We gained a lot of distance, so I'll have to drop this pallet this time around. Or this pallet. Both are very, very strong pallets. Like, literally, he can just sit on the other side of that pallet. I never, ever, ever hit him. That is a completely unmind gameable pallet. We'll go for the Cheryl. Let's be nice here. We'll go for the Adam instead, because he's breaking my totem. We need to hit dead hard, so, um... We just hold on and uh, go for a 180 while we swing. And like I said, with everyone injured, it's going to take them a really long time. Did you guys see how long it took for them to break that totem? I don't know exactly what the, what the numbers are, but shit, dude. <laughs> They're working in that far totem for a long time. I'm going to crouch and walk away like I didn't see this guy. He's just playing the pallet, isn't he? No, he's not. I hear you. I think that's another totem of mine getting worked on right now. Ooh, smart. Look at you. But I'm not too worried about it. We're at a point where we've gotten plenty of hook states. It's undying gone, so we still... Good dead heart, Jesus. You should've ran into that pallet. You should've ran into that pallet. You should've done anything but what you're doing right now. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we, like, we've already gotten plenty of value out of our totem so far. We've had these guys constantly on the back foot. We've gotten, what, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven hook states. Okay, dick. Well, since he was doing a totem, he has no decisive strike. We can go ahead and hook him right away. And that's a kill out of the way. All this time and effort that they put into breaking these totems, pressuring this area, and they just now got a totem out of it. And we got a kill in return. It's a very good trade for us. Oh, I didn't see the pistons firing on this earlier. Dead hard. Very, very bad dead hard. He should have tried dead harding to the pallet when I got nearby. That would have been smarter, or he should have just gotten off the generator a little earlier. That would have also been smarter. Man, I really do love that you never have to worry about decisive strike anymore. Uh, if they were doing something like healing, or unhooking, or uh, doing a totem, doing a generator, any of that. It's such a nice feeling to have. We'll go ahead and trap him here, and then just prop him up. Can I make that? I feel like Demo, it's probably an invisible wall over here, but I feel like Demogorgon could maybe jump onto that. We see the Cheryl. Where's the tab? The tab's gonna be coming from this direction, I think. No.
no idea where Mr. Tap is. Is Cheryl back here? I have no idea where they went. I should have just followed a Cheryl. What am I doing in my life? <laughs> We've gotten a pretty good grip of this map so far though, which is uh, really nice. It's difficult too. This is still, like I've said in the past, one of the more difficult survivor or killer maps. Someone just dropped down on the far side. I'll be running over here, I think. We'll chase a tap, even if he's uh, not the ideal target in this scenario. Oh, you kept going. Look at you being a smart little cookie. So now they'll start working on generators again, but... It, yeah, it's gonna be... It, it's not gonna be easy at all. Granted, just like last game, if I take a chase that's too long, it could end up fucking me up real bad. You should not have faked like you were... I take it back. I take everything I was about to say back. This guy's a god. Pretend I'm faking. I think he messed up there. I don't think it makes any anymore. Pretty cool. I don't think he actually uh, hit this box all the way. I think that was just some desync. I think uh, basically my client thought that he was running into the box, but the server and his client both knew that he wasn't. So it just kind of glitched him out a little bit. All right, so we have him dead on hook. Trap active for Cheryl. Uh, let's see. There's four hooks left in the game. He's dead on hook, meaning he only has one more hook state. So one of his two hook states left. I think it's Cheryl, and I think Dwight's dead on hook now as well. He just got healed. Where did he get healed though? Over here? If nothing else, he was in this area. And keep in mind, the Nerdphobia is also helping us slow down these generators a little bit as well. Honestly, I'm starting to really like this build on killers that can injure people a lot, like uh, Legion, like Piggy, like uh, Plague. Spirit, this build would probably be pretty solid on too. I feel like this build excels in killers that have mobility on top of the ability to hit people a lot. So like, you might not see as much value in this build uh, on Hillbilly maybe. Because Hillbilly is usually going for the down right away. Whereas a killer like Spirit or Nurse, they play to get tags. Uh, just get multiple people injured, keep them injured, and then try and down them. Wraith, uh, as well, I think could do pretty well with this build. Cheryl just got the trap off her head. We knew she was in the area before. Did she ever commit to getting it off over there? No. Oh, we see the crow flying down over here to the left. I don't want to be in this area. Not really. But I guess we'll look for her. Either way, it's two people, three gens. Not super worried about the gens going, but at the same time, look who's popped back over in his gen over here. I'm pretty sure this is Dwight. Yep. <laughs> You're not running anywhere, buddy. He has to give me this pallet because he passed so poorly there. I don't blame him for passing poorly, though. Especially against stealth killers, if you're not expecting them, they can catch you off guard pretty bad. Go to Deadheart, but we body block the pallet. We knew the Deadheart is coming. I just wanted to get in the pallet there before he did. And I think that he's dead on hook, and Cheryl has two hook seats left. I may be wrong. Nope, I was right. Now it's just a game of who has who finds the hatch first. <laughs> Unfortunately, unlike Grim Pantry, this map doesn't. Ooh, where you were a little bit ago, Founder. Now let's see if she finds the hatch before I do. Don't run, don't run. Pretend I don't see you. Pretend I don't see you. Please don't understand that I saw you. Vault it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, now she has this insane palette. 
It's the best way to play that pallet. I'm gonna wait here to see if she panics. She's right above me. <laughs> the ultimate mind game, I love it! What a way to end this game off! <laughs> oh man. I fucking love Pig so much. We find the hatch, we'll give it to her, I feel bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, sometimes it's not so much about being better than the survivors as it is letting them trip over their own feet. <laughs> and if you can find opportunities to make it happen, it just makes it so much more fun. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I am really liking this build a lot, actually. I don't know... I don't know what prompted me to think about it, I don't know why I hadn't thought about it before. But it's been working out pretty well. But, like I said, this is going to be a build that's very specific on what killers it works on. This build, for example, wouldn't work well on Trapper for shit. Or Hag. They're not really... Well, maybe on Hag. But, like, Trapper, he's not going to be getting constant injures and pressuring totems and shit. No. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, sub, join the Discord, and I'll see all of you in the next one.